Alright, uh, what's up guys, and uh, this video I'm going to be talking about the Calgary Flames uh, season. It's tough for that to uh, come to an end, you know. We had such a great year, and um, they defeated all the odds, you know. Everyone had them counted out except for them and their fans, myself. And um, they proved everyone wrong, and, and, and that's shows a lot, a lot to them. They have a lot of character. They're a character team. And uh, nobody really expected them you know, to make the playoffs, to get by Vancouver. They get by Vancouver. Um, six games. And uh, go to Anaheim, losing five. But, you know, you look at this run they put on. You know, everyone thought they were done after they lost to your Everyone did. They didn't quit. They don't. They didn't quit. They made it to the second round playoffs without without their captain Giordano. That that's that's a that's character right there. That shows what they're made of. That shows they can uh, face adversity and still win and still do things and still compete. And it just shows a lot about their team and. You know, that top line, you know, Monaghan, Drow, Hudler, I'm going to take a look at their stats right now, but they had a big year, like, yeah, Hudler, 76 points, Gaudreau, 64, Monaghan, 62, you know, just keep going down the list, it, it was a very successful year, and uh, I can't complain, uh, goaltending was great, uh, two number ones in that, like Bob Hartley always says, you know, Bob Hartley, he'll get the Jack Adams, definitely will. I don't see why he won't. Um, Goudreau, I think, should get Rookie of the Year. But we'll see. Mark Stone could possibly get it, too. Or even Aaron Eckblad, all that minutes he logged in Florida. You just never know. You never know. And um, I think Goudreau could, is, is going to... It could get it. He's likely he going to. But I'm not going to say anything. And then Hoodler can even get... I, get my, I think he's doing for the Ted Lindsay Award or something like that. Or Lady Bing, Lady Bing, Lady Bing, sorry. And, um, you know, he's going against Kopitar and Datsuk. And he's got a good chance of that one, too. He's got a good chance. But, um, you know, all this playoff experience does for the Flames is really just um, build them for next year, you know. All their rookies, all their young guys getting all this experience does nothing but good for them. It doesn't do any bad for them. So, uh... You know, it, it's a successful year. It's a successful year. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. You know, it, it shows a lot. Like, Chris Russell, Dennis Wyman, TJ Brody, you know, them stepping up. You know, the whole team just stepping up for Giordano. And, um, I think they could have maybe brought it to six or seven with Giordano, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, because, you know, his leadership in the locker room and stuff on the ice, it could have helped, it could have helped. We we don't know. We can question that for years. We don't we don't know. We don't know. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's just one hell of a year for him. And uh, they're just going to be going up and up. And, um, yeah, it's, it was a good year. It was a good year for the Flames and uh, a building block, a building block season. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Don't know what else to, uh, don't know what else to say, but, uh, yeah, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know your opinions on them. Um, I'm sure proud of them. Proud to be a Flames fan. And, uh, not bandwagoning now. Nope. Stick with my Flames. The only reason I cheer for a different team is Go Hawks. Go Habs, make it to the finals. Go Habs in the finals. We'll make it. Let's we'll make a Canadian team win this, and um, possibly can get like some money from school or something from winning. Like you guys know, eight for eight <laughs> in the first round. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. So um, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Uh, like I said, comment down below and uh, subscribe for more. Thanks. Bye, NASCAR.